Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me, your most gracious host Ted, the premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. Now, we're going to be taking a look this weekend at three beers from the same brewery and that brewery is the Crafty Brewing Company based out of Dunsfield in Surrey, England. So, they were established only in 2014, so they're still quite a fairly young brewery, but I'm hoping that they have got their you know, act together by now and they're doing quite well for themselves. So today we're going to be taking a look at their Hop Tipple IPA. Now this was 319 from the wine barrel on Western Hove, or Western Road in Hove. I keep getting these tongue, really like simple sentences just mixed up like it's a tongue twister, but... Then again, I don't rely on me for consistency, but um, so it says here, a rich golden colour, smooth bitterness and dry hopped for a full flavour brewed in a barn on a farm in the woods. So it says it's best served cold, which I have done. It's 4.2% alcohol volume, which is, mm, I'd say, a reasonable strength for a beer of this size and... For you know, for a lot for an IPA, so yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this. I, I I just like as well how simple and neatly coloured the label is. It's I, I'll I'll give it a um I'll give it a ten out of ten for that. It's simple, it's plain, but it's nice to look at. So yeah, very nice. But you know, obviously, like you know, like usual, we won't really know what our uh, first impressions of this damn thing are like until we actually smell it, and it is. Overflowing already. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. Well, thankfully it's not like completely spewing up and over like a volcano, but still, it does seem to be a little bit feisty as a lot of, you know, hoppy based IPAs do tend to be. But anyway, we're going to give it a little wee snifter and um, see if it uh, is, you know, fairly pleasant on the old sniffer. So let's give ourselves a little sniff. Okay, so there's your usual sort of like IPA sort of like citrusy smell here with like what I would say is a slightly group freighty sort of twist at the end. So it smells nice. It smells kind of like a, a citrusy sort of juice that's a little bit fermented. It, no, it's, it smells quite nice. So yeah, I'll give the smell like a, an 8.5 out of 10. It, it, I imagine it can be quite a bit bitter for some people. So... I imagine some people might be put off by the smell, but I don't think it's too bad at all. So, just have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water first. And then, on to the most important part of today's episode, which is, of course, the tasting. So, bottoms up. Hmm. Okay, so there's quite a bit of kick at the end of this, as there is, is the case with a lot of IPAs. But, weirdly enough, I feel like it's slightly offset by another really strong flavour at the end, because this has got quite a bitter finish, but it's also got a very malty finish at the same time as well. And once you've had a few sips of it, they kind of sort of blend together, and so the bitterness after a few sips is starts to be offset by the maltiness at the end. Which, um... You know, you usually wouldn't expect, you'd usually expect two powerful flavours to just sort of like clash against each other. And while they do to a certain extent here, they do kind of equalise out a little bit after you've had a few sips. And you get this almost malty, tangy, it nearly even like caramelly sort of like finish at the end. It also tastes a lot stronger than it actually is as well. So, no, I would have thought this tasted like a 6% alcohol volume beer not a 4.2 one so no this is it's got a bit of oomph to it let's say 
I see. Yeah, there's this like sort of underlying sort of like bitter beer taste underneath, overlaid like by this sort of slightly malty sort of like ale taste, and they sort of kind of do clash together a little bit. Um, I mean, the texture is pretty smoothly brewed, but like the flavors don't really like um, clearly meld together as I kind of wish they would. Um, you know, it's not. I mean, personally, I do like it. I think. I think if I'm not in the mood for it, I'd probably give it like like a 6.5. But if I am in the mood for it, I'd give it like a... I mean, like... Hang on. No, so if I was not in the mood for it, I could probably give it a 6. But if I was in the mood for it, I'd probably give it a 6.75 uh, out of 10. Um, however, I could easily imagine someone giving this like less than a 5 because... It's really, it is kind of like one note. I personally do like sort of bitter finished IPAs, but I can imagine a lot of people don't. Um, and so the sheer bitterness of the finish here will ruin the flavour for a lot of people. For me personally, I like it because it's just like a simple beer flavour with that hoppy IPA finish. But it is quite strong and it is fairly one note. So while it's not the worst IPA ever, I can imagine why someone would perhaps dislike this quite a bit because... I mean, it it really isn't for everyone. So I'd say if I'm in the mood for it, it's probably like a 6.75, maybe pushing on for a 7. But I could also go down as low as a 6. Um, however, I could easily imagine someone giving this like a 5 or a 4. So, I mean, if you don't like this, I completely understand. But I mean, like with a lot of craft IPAs and sort of independent breweries, I'd, I'd recommend trying this at least once to see if you're at least, you know, a bit more... Um, positive on it than I am and look I don't mean to like insult uh the crafty brewing company at all like I do think this is a good beer I just think that I've had much better IPAs before that's just the simple fact of it um and the fact that I think this is just slightly one note but apart from that it's I think it's fine yeah it's like it's a little bit above average but I have had better if I'm gonna be honest so I don't think I can wholesale recommend this or say it's a wholesale buy, but maybe it's like something you could try at least once. Um, I'm probably going to wash it down, I think, with some nice jalapeno spiced nuts. So maybe maybe, maybe the flavour will be improved with those. But um, yeah, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description down below. But, as always, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye.